scalar product, the dot or scalar product of vectors, vectors A and vector B can be written as A dot B equal to A1 multiplied with A2, where A1 and A2 is the um, coefficient of I, and B1 multiplied with B2, where V1 and V2 is the coefficient of J, and the last one, C1 multiplied with C2, where C1 and C2 is the coefficient of K. Let's look at an example. Given vector OA equal to 4i plus 7j minus 2k and OB equal to 5i plus 3j plus 2k. Find vector A dot vector B. So A equal to vector A dot vector B equal to i. The coefficient of i is 4 and 5. So 4 multiplied by 5 plus Coefficient of j is 7 and 3. So 7 multiplied by 3. And the last one, coefficient of k is negative 2 and 2. So negative 2 multiplied with 2. Then you will get 20 plus 21 minus 4. So you will get answer is 37. B. Vector A dot vector A equal to, this one is magnitude. We have to prove that vector A dot vector A equal to magnitude of A squared. So, vector A dot vector A equal to, coefficient of I is 4, then plus, Coefficient of j is 7, multiply 7, and the last one, k is negative 2, multiply negative 2. So you will get 16 plus 49 plus 4. So the answer is 69. Then the magnitude of a, magnitude of a square equal to square root so it's 4 square plus 7 square plus negative 2 square ok, magnitude A for vector A square so you will get square root 16 plus 49 plus 4 so we equal to square root 69 square so you get 69 therefore vector a dot vector a equal to magnitude of a square 69 and 69. Vector product. The vector product of two vectors. Vector A is equal to A1i plus B1j plus C1k and vector B equal to A2i plus B2j plus C2k can be written as vector A cross Okay, or we call it as vector product with vector B. We can written as like this, I, J, K. Then we put the vector for A, A1, B1, C1 for the first row and vector B for the second row, A2, B2, C2. So A2, B2, C2. This one is vector A. This one is vector B. Alright, so it can be solved like this. First, we have to do for the part I. So, we have to cover the one there. Same row and same column with I. Then the leftover is B1, C1, B2, C2. 
So B1, C1, B2, C2. Then minus with the J, so I have to cover it with the, uh, the one that's same row and same column with J. The left over is A1, C1, A2, C2. A1, C1, A2, C2. And the last one, we have to multiply with K. So we cover the one that's same row and same column with K. Then the left over is A1, B1, A2, B2. A1, B1, A2, B2. Alright, so after this, we have to multiply B1 and C2, B1 and C2, then minus with C1, multiply with B2, I, then minus with A1, multiply with C2, then minus with C1, multiply with A2. And the last one is plus A1, multiply with B2, minus with B1, multiply with a to K. Then you will get your answer. Okay, let's look at example. Find the cross product, cross of vector V equal to 3i plus 2j minus 4k and vector W equal to 3i plus 2j plus k. So, we can return like this. Vector V cross with vector W equal to we put the I, J and K here then we put first row is vector V second row is vector W for the vector V coefficient for I is 3 then J is positive 2. Then the last one, K is negative 4. For the vector W, the coefficient for I is 3. For J is 2. And for K is 1. Okay. After this, we will take out for I part. So, we can cover the one with same row with I. Then the left over is 2, negative 4, 2 and 1. I, then minus J, so we cover the part J. So the left over is 3, negative 4, 3 and 1. J. So after this, we want to do for Part K, so we cover the one that is same row and same column with K. Then the left over is 3, 2, 3, 2. After this, we take 2, multiply with 1, you will get 2, minus negative 4 and 2, I minus with 3 multiply with 1 minus negative 4 multiply with 3. Then plus 3 multiply with 2 minus 2 multiply with 3. So you will get 2 plus 8. I minus 3 plus 12 
sorry, you got J and K. So it's J plus this one, 6 minus 6K. Then you will get 10I minus 15J. So your answer for cross product of vector B multiplied with vector W is equal to 10I minus 15J.